fund for European Aid for the Most Deprived is the EU is a new EU fund that will provide food and other material assistance to some of the most vulnerable uh, citizens across the European Union. It's important to note that there are 120 million people, that's a quarter of the population of Europe, who are at risk of poverty. There are 40 million people suffering from extreme material deprivation. That means that they can't afford to put a meal on the table every second day. There are 4 million people who are homeless uh, across the European Union. 25 million children are actually touched by poverty. So this fund is a practical expression of the EU's solidarity with people who are living at the margins of our society. The um, Feed Fund is actually replacing the, um, uh, uh, the food aid programme that came from the agriculture budget and this was where um, intervention stocks were made available to organisations. Uh, as um, people are aware the intervention stocks are running quite dry and uh, then there was a court case taken that said that the, that fund was actually uh, didn't have a legal basis. And so the new fund feed is a different in several different ways. Firstly and most importantly, instead of coming from the agriculture budget, it um, will now come from the social cohesion budget and that's actually very important. Secondly, instead of just concentrating on food aid, the fund can be used for food aid and other basic consumer goods uh, and that is something that many of the NGOs who work with the fund at the moment uh, have actually welcomed that it has a broader scope. And thirdly, the fund will be open to um, the fund will be open to citizens uh, in every European country because what we are saying is, is that this fund is for the people who are deprived. It's not necessarily for the governments or for the member states and so all member states should participate in this programme. Well, the, the European Parliament uh, voted overwhelmingly to support the feed programme and that is, uh, that, that is actually very important. Uh, significantly as well, members of the European Parliament stated categorically that 2.5 billion, which is the budget that's proposed by the Commission and by the Council, uh, the members of the European Parliament have stated that that is not sufficient. Uh, members of the European Parliament are, have supported uh, my recommendation as rapporteur uh, that the fund should be increased to 3.5 billion euro. And uh, so we had, uh, there was a vote in the European Parliament, uh, 519 deputies uh, have supported the fund and have supported the call for an increased budget. Uh, what happens now is that uh, we will open negotiations with Council and with Commission. Uh, we're not in any doubt as to the difficulties that that poses. We are aware that there is a blocking minority which is opposed to the, even the principle of the fund at Council. Uh, and we are aware that while the Commission is supportive of the fund, that they are not in favour of an increase in the budget. Well, certainly um, the, uh, the, the negotiations will be difficult, both in terms of the budget, but also, and importantly, uh, on the principle of the actual programme in the first instance, because we are very concerned that there is a minority at the Council that is actually trying to block the fund from existence in the first instance. That blocking minority includes countries like Germany, the UK, the Netherlands, Czech Republic and Denmark. And these are many countries that don't participate in the current uh, programme Program that's funded through the agriculture budget line and they say that they have a fundamental disagreement with the notion of the EU providing uh, food aid or alleviation to people in poverty. What we in the European Parliament are saying to that is, is that first of all feed is the only fund that actually uh, and the only instrument that the European Union has to reach out to the most vulnerable citizens uh, in uh, all our member states. And secondly, we are saying that poverty knows absolutely no boundaries. There are poor people and people living on the margins in every single country. So we believe that this, is, this fund is important. It's important that it actually reaches out to those people. Uh, but we know that we will have a job on our hands to try and persuade that blocking minority to actually lift their objections to the programme and at the same time try to persuade the Council and the Commission that 2.5 billion given the increased participation, given the broader scope, is not sufficient.
One of the issues that MEPs identified when we looked at the Commission's original proposal was that we believed that uh, a fund that is providing food aid and material assistance to the most deprived should actually address issues around food waste and also the areas around local supply chains and healthy living, a uh, healthy diet. So we proposed a number of amendments uh, that would actually try and develop synergies with other EU policies in the field of food waste, uh, in the field of of, um, healthy eating, healthy diet and particularly again uh, trying to encourage local supply chains because we believe that this, is, uh, that, th that this is a very important aspect and that this fund actually provides an opportunity for that. Now we are aware that there are many organisations in Ireland, uh, Crosscare provide food banks and they are al already actually working in the whole area uh, of food waste where they have developed links in, uh, with, uh, with many of the retail um, supermarket chains to ensure that food that uh, is um, th that food that is perfectly uh, good food will not be destroyed, uh, and they are working with those agencies. And what we hope to do is is that th this uh, particular fund will encourage many other agencies. And in essence, what it will do is is that it will provide them with seed capital. The predictability of this fund will help them leverage additional assistance, be it additional finance assistance or be it additional uh, benefit in kind from supermarkets, from farming uh, and other agricultural outlets, uh, food that maybe is a little bit odd shaped potatoes that don't make it uh, in, in, into the normal food chain but would be perfectly acceptable can be uh, channeled through some of the organisations that are distributing the food aid and the other material items uh, through the, the feed fund.